nothing is more important to us on earth than the sun and without the sun's heat and light earth would be a lifeless planet full of icy cold rocks and mountains sun warms the earth and gives us various seasons to celebrate hello everyone wish you a very happy makar sankranti today in this blog we are doing a lot of different recipes and i'll be talking about makar sankranti these are all heartwarming and very comforting home cooked food it's super nourishing for your soul for your body in this winter season so let's get cooking the festival of makar sankranti is considered to be extremely auspicious because it marks the first day of transition of sun into the sun sign of capricorn each state in india celebrates this festival in its own way makar sankranti is an ideal illustration of solidarity in diversity you must be knowing this festival in different name sankranti lodi pongal bihu each part of our country celebrates this festival to celebrate this day people wake up early take bath and express their gratitude towards god sun on this day people also worship lord vishnu and goddess lakshmi For many this might be a festival of lot of things but for us it is all about good food the wholesome food that we prepare on this day oh my god it's so delicious on this day the use of jaggery or gur sesame seeds or til yogurt or dahi and rice is consumed and it is considered very auspicious now earlier everything was connected to religion but if you think about this then there is a specific reason for eating all these ingredients sesame is rich in calcium jaggery keeps the body warm yogurt if eaten during the day then it provides you a protection against cough and cold and it is said that after eating everything you should take a trip to the sun and that is why the tradition of flying kites in many parts of india is very prevalent during makar sankranti and the sesame seeds that we eat full of calcium helps to absorb the sunlight better and it's extremely good for your bones it is so surprising how religion 
is connected with the nutrition and this totally amazes me sometimes we do not understand the importance of these traditions we get trapped between the understanding of according to the legends a goddess named sankranti killed a demon shankrasur the mention of uttrayan is also seen in mahabharata when bhishma pitama embrace his death only when sun was in uttrayan it is a very auspicious day because the sun movement is changed and we have longer days after a cold winter on this day my mom used to make amazing food i used to be the first one to take shower on this day because otherwise we would never get a chance to eat and those chilly winter mornings only good food can be the catalyst to push you to take shower i have tried to use all those traditional family heirloom recipes and gave them my own twist they just don't look good but they are extremely delicious and very nourishing food these granola tarts they are amazing to taste and you can snack on them just like that but putting them in tarts gives you a perfect breakfast bowl i made khichdi or the lentil porridge some tarts sesame balls fresh berry compote spicy potato cakes and lots of other things you must try these recipes i assure you you'll thank me for them i am planning to add some chia seeds in this berry compote it will not only thicken the compote but also add additional nutrition i am planning to use this compote throughout the week in a pot full of milk we will just coarsely ground the roasted sesame and cook them till it gets absolutely dried and thickened it takes a little time and trust me i was using all my gas stuff for the convenience of understanding i'm showing you guys separately all my preparations are done it's time for some sunshine we decided to go down and do a small picnic kind of a thing though we didn't eat anything outside we played ludo for some time that's one of her favorite games of ishi and we actually all of us enjoy this game it was pretty nice and sunny for a change one hamara sab 
We all came up and it was time for dinner. Khichdi is served hot. And when you pair this with a spicy mashed potato and fresh homemade pickle, some tempered ghee, and some rice crisp for the crunch i also added some peanuts and voila my khichdi plate is ready it's time to plate the desserts hey it is me who is doing everything and i hate getting up while i'm having food i plated up everything together these tart came out so good they were not just looking very beautiful but they tasted amazing and it freezes beautifully You can top these tarts with any fruit of choice you like. I have used strawberries, orange and some grapes and few berries. And to plate these uh, sesame balls, I have added some rose petals at the bottom of this small bowl and filled it up with sesame mixture. and my dessert plate is ready as i always say home cooked food does not need to be boring and it if presented well you can beat any good five star restaurant When I think of home I think of warmth I think of coziness I think of these small little corners that have a story to tell Smallest of the smallest piece has memories attached to it Every corner speaks to you connects to you when you sit in corner then you think of those happy days that spent yes i know it is a task to manage a house but trust me it gives you lot more back do you guys love candles I think I am kind of obsessed with candles. For every occasion I need candles. I like lighting candles every single day. But these tea light candles they add another level of ambiance. I am so eager to dig in to this yummy food. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell I post every single week on home decor DIYs food 
and lots and lots of recipe sharing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. My Insta handle is same, simply amazing life by Kaushiki. I share a lot of my daily life on Instagram. I wish you all a very happy Makar Sankranti from our family to yours. Thank you so much.